This August sees the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Warsaw, one of the most significant and least known battles in Europe's turbulent 20th century history. In August of 1920, Lenin's Red Army was bearing down on the Polish capital from the east, the culmination, so it appeared, of the Polish Bolshevik War, which had raged for much of the previous 18 months. With Polish forces retreating in disarray, it was widely expected that Warsaw would fall, and with that, Moscow would have the opportunity to export its brand of revolutionary communism westward, most notably to Germany, which was then in political turmoil and seemingly ripe for Bolshevism. But against the odds, the Poles rallied and, in a flanking attack to the east of their capital, inflicted a crushing defeat on Red Army forces. The Battle of Warsaw has been largely forgotten outside of Poland itself. For one thing, it doesn't really fit into the dominant Western narrative, which concentrates very strongly on the two world wars. But more than that, it took place in Eastern Europe, which is, of course, Western Europe's traditional blind spot. But it nonetheless has some profound consequences. Not only did it secure Poland's existence for a generation after 1920, it also provided a 20-year check on the revolutionary expansionist ambitions of the Soviet Union, stopping the Red Army in its tracks from exporting communism at the point of its bayonets. It was for this reason that a British diplomat of the time described the Battle of Warsaw as one of the most important battles in world history, ranking it alongside the Battle of Marathon or Blenheim or the Battle of Hastings. It is a battle that fully deserves its place in history and fully deserves to be commemorated and remembered. <laughs>